themselves. The others couldn't see themselves beyond that company. They couldn't see right after that company. Gang, it's your boy Kale, and I'm back again with another banger video for y'all. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You never miss another banger upload for me. I'm a life coach, empath, star scene. I do what I do to help you expand your consciousness over here. They cannot put us inside of a box. Why? Because you outside that motherfucker. Hey, I like to talk about the title, man. It's gonna be a little quick, little nice vlog. Uh, I'm gonna just show y'all my little spiritual morning routine, uh, and I plan on getting some ink today. So y'all need to stay tuned for that because that shit gonna be lit. All right. All 2022, it's a new year. We finna go crazy and drop good quality content for y'all, okay? Come on ahead. Uh, so yeah, make sure y'all just stay tuned for that, man. This video can be lit. Like the, press that like button, press the sub button, because this channel is the channel. We going up 1K, let's get it. <clears throat> All right, so uh, I wake up in the morning. I gotta get my stretching. I gotta be feeling good. So I get up. I usually, it's usually take me like five minutes to like register that I'm awake and get out the dream state. So I go ahead and drink me some water, come back to reality. You know what I mean? Wake me up a little bit. Cause I'll be, I'm a Pisces. So I'll be in that dream state for a minute, still thinking about the dream I just had. So you gotta make sure you drink that water in the morning. It's the best, best supplement. Get some water in your system. Drink that shit. You see me still trying to wake up. I'm still trying to register. And I said, they usually say it's not good to get on your phone, but I get on my phone, not strictly to go through social media, but to play my frequencies. As you can see, I play my frequency. I've been playing in the background while I'm doing my morning routine. It's part of my morning ritual. So I throw on the, uh, the little vibrations and shit like that. And I got to clean my glasses because, you know, I'm four eyes. <laughs> uh, so I first, I, I usually don't do this all in the same order, but this is usually a different order what I do. But I grab my incense, as y'all can see, I got the incense right here. And I usually choose between which one, depending on how I'm feeling today, which one I want to burn. Because I got these for different chakras, but I'm using the third eye one today. As you can see, I haven't opened this one yet because I ain't been using this one. So I think it's a cedar wood, whatever the smell of it is. So, Well, I usually burn incense to get me in that meditative state, to get me in that calm state, get me ready to go into that meditation. Because meditation is an essential in the morning. I'm not going to lie to who you Go ahead and get that nice burn in. Yeah, so I usually throw my incense right there. Yeah, I got the bag was for game leaves. You know, I like to blow me some gas. But um, so right here, I'm listening to my affirmations or voicing them over. Because I have my information on my wall. These have got got me to where I'm at today. So I do this every morning. I make sure I have this in my morning which I really highly recommend doing affirmations because they get you in that gratitude state. So as you can see right here, I got my singing ball. I usually hit it once, spin on that bitch, and I throw it to the side because it gets me in a deep meditative state. Or it just gets me my mind ready going to a meditative state. So after I hit that, I go into the meditation. And I want to tell y'all. I meditate for like five to ten minutes a day, man. Like I, my mornings be so busy. I right, wake up late. I don't be having time to meditate for no damn thirty minutes. So I wait. I meditate for like five minutes tops most of the time, and I'll be good. And if I can, I'll push to ten. So I'll be clear after that. So after I got my little meditation, I go ahead and hit the bowl again. You know, just to set my vibration to where it's at, keep me good. Right in this moment right now, I'm like in this very peace state. Like I look out the window. I usually try to get in the present moment. Like what do I hear? What do I feel? What do I see? That's usually what I do. Grab me another drink of water. Level up my vibration. Level up how I feel. Um, usually I speak to my water, but I wasn't even thinking about it in this one. But this is my journal. Now this is my next step. I usually meditate before I journal because getting in that meditative state gets you in that gratitude, gets you in that vibration you need to be to manifest. So now this is my manifestation journal. I'm writing down what I'm grateful for, and then I'm writing down the things that I want to attract, like success, you know, abundance, all the things that I'm, I feel like I really want to attract in my reality. So uh, this is highly recommended in the mornings. The mornings is the best times. Like on my cat, Cherish, she tend to always come around after, like, when I get out of meditation, or even when I'm in a meditation. I'm surprised she wasn't right there next to me, but she sends to high vibration, so she's always next to me, always camping and shit. Look at her ass. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I see right now my manifestations, you know. Setting them attentions. 
It's very, very important in the morning before you start your day to get them attentions. And this is my book, Dial Te Ching. This is uh, basically the teachings of Taoism, like the living, like da- the Dial basically means one, like being one with everything in nature and shit like that, getting you into that state. I've been reading this book lately and I ain't gonna lie, it is very, very beneficial, man. It's been showing me some ways of teachings and the way to live and in general. I mean, some of them are kind of hard to understand, but I really highly recommend this book. So this is my jewelry and shit. I pretty, I got a pretty good amount of jewelry. I try to make sure uh, I want to find out what I want to wear. I use sometimes I'm feeling rings, sometimes I'm not. But I for sure always throw in my crystals. I'm either going to throw in that citrine or that molivite. I was looking at this molivite because I was saying I ain't wear this in a minute. But I wanted to track that abundance. So I definitely throw in that um, citrine. Yeah, I had to throw in that citrine. I love that abundance. I love the way it makes me feel, man. It levels up my vibrations. So as you can see here, I got my tea. I got my green tea. Now, I have been drinking a lot of tea lately. I highly recommend it. It's good for the health. It makes your teeth whiter, makes you feel better, and helps you have a stronger immune system, man. Like, I have to make tea in the morning, like, every morning. And usually with this tea that I got, this is a new kind of tea. I'm trying some green tea. I I remember, like, the tea I used to be drinking was, like, it was like a honey lemon. It was something like that. But this this tea's not bad. I'm not gonna lie. Usually I I go add um I add sugar. I add like two spoons of sugar to my tea, and like luckily like our water in our sink like we have a a water purifier in our basement. So like our water is like purified. So I can turn my our water on, let it run for like a minute, and that shit gets extremely hot and it's purified. So I go ahead and pour that in my cup. So I don't think I'm drinking some damn lead water. <laughs> And then I go take two cups, two spoon cups of uh, sugar, and I pour it in this cup. And this cup is like an insulated cup, so once I uh, put the lid on it, it traps in all the heat, and it stays, my tea stays warm for like an hour plus. So I go ahead and stir it around, and once I put the cap back on there, I let I let my uh, tea sit for like three to four minutes so that it can set the flavor in and shit like that after I get done stirring it up. So right here, I'm getting ready to whip up my famous little breakfast. The same shit I almost eat every morning. But some eggs and some toast. I'm going to go ahead and throw my eggs up in there. I usually do three eggs max, depending on how I'm feeling in the morning. If I'm feeling like three eggs, I'll do three. Black peppers. I do not like plain eggs. I have black pepper on my eggs. I'm telling you, that's the move. Throw my toast in the, in the um, toaster. Stir on my eggs. You know, got the whip of the flick of the wrist. And voila. Final product with my tea. Mm. Can't go wrong with it. Lemon ginger. That's what it was. Lemon ginger. I don't know why I say green tea. So that's pretty much my little morning spiritual routine. That's basically the around the basis of what I do every morning to keep my vibes high, keep my mind straight, to keep that tunnel vision, and just get ready for the day overall. Um, everything I ever made, you could do and just add your own twist, your own spin to it. Like, I, these are all like, now, don't get me wrong, I don't do these every day in the morning. Like, I don't, you know, because sometimes I'm just not always consistent because, like, I got school and work, and I don't have a consistent schedule because my shit's always switching up. So, I try my best to stick to that, though. Like, those main things, like affirmation, journaling, making my tea, med- you know, meditating, those things are things I, like, key components of things I do in the morning, like, for anything. If I don't do the other shit, like, I make sure I do those things. This shit's hot as fuck. I love it. Um, but yeah, today basically gonna vlog a little bit. You know, I'm supposed to be getting some ink today, so we're gonna see how that goes. Uh, I really don't want to tell you guys what I'm getting yet. I want you guys to be really surprised. I I want to like surprise y'all. Um, even though you might have seen a thumbnail, I don't know. I'm really indecisive right now. But right now, I'm feeling like I don't want to show y'all what it is. Like I'm excited for it. I fuck with it. I feel like y'all gonna fuck with it too as well. Um, I have a way I want it on on me. Uh, I'm gonna give y'all a hand. I'm getting it on my hand. I'm getting it right here on my right hand. Right here. So, now as y'all can know, for those who don't know, uh, I already got two tattoos. I got Strong Willed and Humble Perseverance on my arm. I got this about a year ago. 
Um, these words pertain to who I am and how I am as a person. And I got faith right here. And this is a verse in the Bible, but that's also my cousin's name who passed away in 2017. Rest in peace, Faith. So I got her, they should pass in Hebrews or in um, Roman numerals and I got the Hebrews on here. So yeah. So now I'm going to get that hand tag because I feel like it's a necessity. I need some lotion. God damn. The content, collabs, Q and A's, vlogs, travel vlogs. I'm trying to get whatever I can to get y'all like in tune, okay? Not just bettering yourselves, but entertainment as well. You know what I mean? We come to YouTube not just to learn, but also to get entertained. You feel me? So I want to keep the videos looking spicy, keep them hype. I'm trying to do what I can do to keep the videos hype, whether that's going on in public, seven of my comments are going to public. You know, I'm going to do what I got to do, but all y'all need to know is we got banger quality content coming. That's all y'all need to know, but yeah, I'm going to get with y'all when, uh, you know, we got some shit going on. Yeah. What up, y'all? So, I'm in the car. I'm going to pick up my boy, my boy Jason. We're going to go get this ink, get this tap. I'm excited. I ain't had no ink in a minute, so let's get it. My boy Jason is bitch, y'all. Bro, what are we about to do, bro? Uh, new ink today, you know what I'm saying? Mine, you know what I'm saying? Number eight for me, for oh, sure. Oh, I actually haven't told them or showed them what I'm getting yet. I told them I'm getting on my hand, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them wait. But we both got a couple concepts and shit. Where you getting your shit at? Oh, you getting your whole sleeve, nigga? I'm about to finish it. I'm about to try. It's not about to be finished. Bro. This nigga crazy. You finna be in that bitch for a couple hours. I like to. That's why I'm getting my shit after you. After you. All right, well, yeah, we finna go get this ink, and we finna get to this situated, so I'm gonna hit y'all when I'm there, okay? Well, for some reason, we get confused now because they got a white coat on, they say, ND, I'm just no you It's a world, it's a world. They almost couldn't see themselves beyond that company. They couldn't see right after that company. Their purpose in life. That's why they're grumpy. But that's why they're miserable. That's why they're so negative. They're Valid. hurting you. They want to hurt other people. Valid. Shout out my nigga Rob, man. He so got me right. This shit is crazy. <laughs> nice.